Hi, Eddie. How you doing? Thank you for including your work here. So um, if we take your work and we come over here to week two, project two, mobile app prototype begin, it looks like we're missing a lot of requirements for this week's work. Um, basically, we're missing the established, the personas, the scenarios, the wireframes, the storyboards, and the paper prototypes are all due during week two. And none of those are presented. So I'm, I'm a little concerned that we're I'm really, really underdeveloped at this point. And I don't mean to sound discouraging. I just want to implore you to really think about kicking it in gear here because we, we, we're we really moving at a rapid pace and week three doesn't let up at all. As a matter of fact, week three, uh, we start thinking about the uh, user testing process. So everything really, really needs to be in place here. It's very imperative to the success of this assignment. So what do we have here? So basically what we have here is an introduction and some, some competitive analysis. Um, and that's all we really have. We have some infographics, but I'm not exactly sure uh, what those infographics, the, the mommy promotion. This is from something called the mommy promotion. So I'm a little unclear as to what these infographics are and how they're related to your work. But basically what I'm seeing here is that these are infographics supporting the, the work and that's great and everything. And then you have your competitive analysis here, but we don't have any of the requirements associated. So you've got this, you've got your, uh, your, your problem statement, that's great, but don't forget everything from week one should be included in your process book and in your um, in your findings. So uh, specifically, I know this isn't your process book, but your process book needs to be designed with everything in place, uh, everything from week one. And then week threes would have everything from week one, two, and three. Week four would have everything from one, two, week, week one, two, three, and four, um, because it is a work in progress and should be reflected as such. Okay, so we have our basic ideation of the problem, and we have a little bit of of, of research here. And then you just go into the competitive analysis. Now, keep in mind in your competitive analysis, you want to list the pros and the cons of each and how they influence your app itself. Okay, so we have competitive analysis and then it just ends. So what we don't have are any of those requirements. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this now because we don't need this anymore. But I'm gonna show you an example uh, and, and, and examples of everything that's needed at this point. Now, this is the Waste Not app. If you jump over to the course announcements, specifically uh, week two assignment examples, you'll see this example in there. There's another example there. So please use those for your reference. So here's where we should be at this point. Here's the title page, right? We have the, uh, the definition of the problem, definition of the solution, uh, three main features and functions. And these are all from week one, target market, including demographics, needs, behaviors, and values. Then we have competition, both pros and cons. Okay, and then we have personas. We need personas. Okay, I recommend three. All right, I usually include at least through, but two, but I recommend three personas, okay? And a persona is just defining an individual uh, that is part of your target market or your target audience, okay? So there's one, two, three personas. At this point, you take one of the personas and you depict them in a scenario where, where they are and what are they doing when they're confronted with an issue and how will your app help to rectify that issue? Okay, so you would take a persona and then you would start a storyboard and the storyboard would be the scenario. So, and again, that scenario is going to depict where the user is, what are they are doing when they're confronted with, with a problem that the problem could be overcome by using your app. Okay, so then we have wireframe sketches. Note each is very detailed and exact replication of what that screen actually looks like. All screens are depicted in wireframe sketches. This is of specific and relevant importance because you will use these wireframe sketches as the basis for your, your paper prototype, which you will use for your user testing. Okay, so from that point, you take your wireframe sketches. Now, here's the scenario, here's the paper prototype. So what you would do is you would take your sketched wireframe sketches, okay, and you would cut them out of the paper. Then you would create this like user interface phone. As we can see, there's the phone, there's the screen. So each screen would be able to be slipped behind the hole in the phone. Okay, so there's the hole where the screen and the phone is. And then each, you can see each little paper is slipped behind there to show the screen and what it would look like in that um, screen. If Then what you do in your user testing is you ask questions. For example, in the first screen, you would say, okay, where would you click to, um, to set up your profile, to set up your account, including your username and your, your uh, uh, password and then they would they would point to where you they think that they should click 
If they get it right, then you would just go ahead and change that screen to the corresponding page and then ask your next question, have them make a selection, and then switch out that screen in your paper prototype. And then all, all the while, you're recording the responses. Are they accurate or inaccurate? And if you have, let's say, I would recommend at least three user test subjects. And if two out of three get them wrong, get it wrong, it's a really good indication that that area in your prototype needs to be changed to make it a little bit more specifically clear. Okay, so again, as I said, we're really underdeveloped at this point, so we, we, we got some, some work to do. I'm just, I'm not trying to sound discouraging. I'm just trying to be as honest as I can with you. So let's get this to the point where we need to be so we can concentrate on the user testing stage, which comes next, okay? All right, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or I can make any clarifications, please let me know. I'll be more than glad to do so. Thank you very much.